Now, number two is a little interesting. It actually takes an object. So we're going to test if this person is a cow or not. We're going to take this global person variable, which defaults to null by default. This predicate function is going to say yes or no, true or false. Predicate functions always return true or false. That's what they're known for. Not true, false, and undefined or null, no errors, no throw. The downside is that this is impure because this person is an outside object. It's a global variable. And so it can change based on the outside condition. So let's take an example. You'll see that it's true, true, but then becomes false, false. And the reason for that is that this person gets changed to a chicken later. And so the predicate value and changes internally. Person is no longer a chicken when you run this function. So it's going to return false. So it's affected by the outside world. So when we talk about same input, same output, if we have the same input, which in this case is no parameters, it should effectively always give the same output, right? This doesn't. It's not pure because it doesn't. So how do we prevent that from happening? We have to declare what our outside dependencies are by saying, all right, if I'm not allowed to reference outside global variables or functions or classes, right, I will declare it as a parameter. That's how you get things into functions if you're not allowed to reference things outside of it is through function parameters. Seems super obvious, right? But it's not. Like this, this concept is powerful by declaring dependencies. And this is where the first pain of functional programming comes in, where suddenly your functions have 50 billion parameters. And that's okay. It's part of learning. The only difference between this pure function here is that we declare its dependency. And so down here, you'll notice that we always have the same input we're always going to get the same output. So let's run it and prove that that actually happens. When we run it, you'll see it's always true here. And the reason for that is regardless of what happens outside, same input always equals same output because we don't reference a global variable, right? It, we take in what it is. So we don't care what happens outside a person because we take our own object declare. Again, it seems super simple, but it's very, very important to recognize that if you're going to reference global variables, it can change the internal state. So anything that you have in here that's a dependency on the outside world, bring it in through the proper channels. Nothing should come into your function that is not through a parameter, unless you're in a hurry. And we'll talk about some of the trade-offs later on in the async one. That is how you do a pure function with the same input, same outputs by declaring your dependencies only through function parameters.